Capricorn, this is your weekend tarot reading and um, it's for anyone with Capricorn in your chart. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace wherever you are on Gaia. Um, so yeah, let's go into the energy and it's divinely timed as well. So whenever you watch this video, it's fine. But yeah, if you give a thumbs up, it does help the video reach more people because it's only a small channel, obviously. So thank you. Okay. Spirit, please show Capricorn what's going to be happening for Capricorn, please. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's a lot of heart chakra healing going on for Capricorn at the moment. You could be going through a heart awakening. Uh, where your any pain body is being purged away from the heart area so that you can feel love on a more deeper level. And um, this can be triggered by people that are close to you, you know, close relationships. It's hard going through a heart awakening, but it is beautiful as well because you do start to um, feel more deeply about things um, and more deeply about people. Um, Singer of init Initiation, this is a new beginning. So you're going into a new beginning um, and as you go into a new beginning, sometimes you have to go through like an initiation and that could be this heart awakening. It could be purging. Um, it could feel like uncomfortable, like uh, different energies and emotions coming up for you. It could be that you kind of almost have to go through a series of tests and you may feel like you're going through a test. You've been going through a very testing time. But it's because you're being initiated into a, a period of your life where there's going to be more love, more flow, more connection. So we go a bit deeper for you. So you've been drawing on your powers. You've been going deep within yourself and keeping quite private uh, with the high priestess energy. You know, and this is good because it's been about you starting to get more in touch with your own feelings, maybe coming to terms with some of the things you've had to deal with, um, you know, and coming to terms with where you're at on your journey. Um, so High Priestess is a good energy because it's the most spiritual card in the deck. You have probably don't been going through some spiritual awakenings. Um, you're also starting to understand your power better. Um, and understanding how to meet your needs better. Like, what do I need to do to meet my own needs? So you're getting more in tune with yourself, with the high priestess, um, but working in quite a private way. Now, you're moving on from troubled times. It's kind of with a heavy heart because certain things in your life didn't go how you would have liked them to have gone, and it's hard to move on. Um, so it, it kind of gives you that heavy heart. But the good news is, like in the next uh, month, you could really see quite a big difference for yourself. Um, so this, the advice from Tarot really is to not get caught up in any negative mind activity or, um, you know, any type of mental health because uh, don't allow the mind to rule you basically and drag you down because you are moving forward. Um, you're not going to go back to where you were before because you're much more in tune and you're much more conscious now than you might have been in the past. Um, so we're seeing a really good improvement here. It feels like it could have, it could be slightly testing, but what Spirit wants you to know in this reading is it's because you're being initiated into a time in your life where there's going to be more love. And in order to get to that place, you have to burn off kind of like the past, if that makes sense. You have to burn off the pain body. So um that means you can then uh obviously move into this vibration of love right um so let's see what energy is connecting in with you what person we have here oh wow yeah a knight of wands so you could be attracting love with the knight of wands or you could be attracting a new opportunity that's going to be really exciting it's time for a change there's somebody here that is connecting to you who is ready for a change um, you're mirroring each other. Look at this. Boom. You know, you're both moving forward. You both are ready for a positive change in your life to leave the past behind and move forward. And this could be somebody who's very passionate, 
it could be a lover, you know, it could be a lover, um, but they're very equally passionate as you are about um, kind of moving forward and having a, you know, positive, creative life. Um, now, somebody is also sending the message, are you going to listen to me? So somebody really wants to be heard, um, whether that's that person or somebody else, I don't know. Uh, it's just a message there for you. And then let's see, this is my deck, <laughs> my consciousness deck, which I'm going to be creating this summer. I'm starting using it again. Uh, don't let the matrix crack you. Um, you know, I don't think you have. I don't think you have let the matrix crack you. The matrix is designed to trigger us so that we can, you know, return back to full consciousness. And, you know, we have to work with the matrix but, you know, don't let it crack you, basically, because I think it, you know, it's trying to have a little go at you to see if it can hook you back into a negative place. But I just don't see you going there, quite frankly. I just see you now moving forward. Uh, again, the message about a, a month's time is quite pivotal. You could be meeting this person in a month or finding in a month there's going to be a significant change for you. Um you know, you are moving into a chapter in your life where there's going to be more love. That's that's what I'm being shown here. Um, let's see, um, you know, potentially meeting this Knight of Wands, a new partner, perhaps. And your spirit guides and loved ones in spirit are really encouraging you to flourish. Uh, the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience, shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. So you've got a lot of love from spirit around you, Capricorn, to really help you flourish now. This is an initiation period for you. Initiations can be testing, but also they're liberating because it means you're shedding the past, you're moving into the future. So that's the message. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up so it can reach more people and sending you lots of love, lots of peace wherever you are on Gaia.